Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. We made it to another episode. In this episode, we're going to be discussing going from zero to data analyst. So if you're interested in the data analyst role, keep watching, let's get into it. But before I say anything else, I want to tell you guys why I am jumping on this trend. I've seen a number of videos on YouTube that kind of explain how to go from a complete beginner to a data analyst. As someone who not only started their career in data analytics, but also trains people who are aspiring to become data analysts, I feel like I have a lot to bring into this conversation. So let's get into it. So if you're a complete beginner, I want you to start with understanding exactly what the data analyst role entails. Data analysis can be applied in different industries, different roles. So I want you to understand the difference between the act of doing data analysis, the role, which is the data analyst role in different organizations and kind of how it all ties into each other, because that's one area where a lot of people don't really understand what they are getting into and they get really confused about the data analyst role. So the first thing that I would recommend is to spend some time doing some research to understand the data analyst role in its entirety, how it can be applied in different industries, different domains before you do anything else. Once you have understood the data analyst role, you want to start at the very beginning, which is the foundation. Data analysis itself is different and it can be applied in different industries. So one thing that would help you is also to make a decision on what industry you want to do. Do you want to master data from a particular industry? Do you want to learn how to use data to solve a particular problem? And basically not just understanding what the role entails, but making the decision on where you kind of want to specialize your skill set and grow your career. Once you understand the data analyst role completely and you know the industry you want to be in and how you want to kind of apply data analysis, then you move to education and training. And what does this entail? This entails learning the skill sets that are required, learning the tools that you will use to perform analysis. Some of these tools include Python, SQL, Power BI, Excel, Tableau, and it just depends also on the company that you end up working for and the scale of the data that you're going to be analyzing. But one thing that's really crucial in the education and training phase is to make sure that you are not just relying on like the tools and learning how to navigate the tools, but you're also understanding how to use data analysis to solve problems. Which leads me to my next point, which is building projects. I think that building projects is super crucial because once you start to actually build projects on how to like use data to solve problems, you move past just navigating a tool. It is best to have a complete understanding on how you are using that data to provide insights and solutions uh, through your analysis. And one good way that you can actually learn to do that is to solve multiple problems in the industry that you have chosen, build multiple projects to kind of show your expertise in that industry. If you chose finance, try to maybe detect fraud or do some financial data analysis and just showcase that everywhere. And that would not only help you understand the tools that you will use to build those projects, but also the problem that you're solving with those tools. The next step for your transition would be networking, which is very crucial. Now, once you've learned the skills, you build projects, you need to start networking with people who are already data analysts, or people who already work in the industry that you want to work in. And how is this going to help you? It's going to help you because you're going to be around people who are already doing what you want to do. And this would help you get to where they are. Networking is super crucial. And if you're interested in networking, we do have a networking event coming up. So make sure you hit the subscribe button as I'm going to share more about this event. But networking is super crucial because things change often in the industry. And that's also one really good way to keep yourself up to date on whatever is happening, be it in the data space, in the tech space, or whatever industry you do choose to pivot into. Another thing that is really crucial for success when it comes to like going from a complete beginner to a data analyst is just continuous learning. I say this in my transition into tech video, but the data analyst rule as well, things will change. There will be introduction of new tools. AI is coming now and 
you know, changing the way that we kind of analyze data. So you want to make sure that you're staying up to date. You want to make sure that you are continuously learning the new tools that are introduced if your company is introducing it and just making sure that you remain curious. So if your company begin up, and I know this because I often talk to a lot of people who haven't really had the opportunity to work in professional spaces before now, one thing that I would recommend highly is also to work with a career coach. Why do I recommend this? I recommend this because you would need to learn about branding. You need to learn about marketing. You need to learn about how to present yourself. You will need to prepare for interviews. You need to learn how to negotiate. And if you don't know anything about this, you might make mistakes and lose opportunities. So I highly recommend working with someone who has the expertise before you go ahead to do any of everything that I've just mentioned. And this I will place into the job search bucket. So let me reiterate the steps that I have mentioned in this video. The very first thing to do is to research the role to understand completely what it entails. Additional research is required on the industry that you want to eventually specialize in and the kind of problems you want to solve using data analysis. Once that's done, you move to education and training, which entails learning the skills, learning the tools that are required for you to be successful. And then you move to networking. Obviously, you want to be around more people who are working with data. You can join organizations online. You can join like Discord. There are so many communities for data people that you can join just to stay abreast. Continue learning because the learning actually never stops. And finally, you need to obviously work with an expert if you do not have any prior experience. These are my steps on how to go from a complete beginner to a data analyst. Obviously, this is really high level. It might require a lot more, but I expect that you guys already know that. Again, if you are interested in learning, I have a guide that takes you from zero to data analyst, but this is not a course. It is a guide. I'm going to put the link to the guide in the description somewhere. So if you're interested in becoming a data analyst, make sure you go ahead and check out my guide. It costs only $50 for the ebook. So if you're interested, go ahead and check out my ebook called the Data Analytics Guide. We're going to make some changes in the guide in the next coming months. But for now, you can go ahead and get the electronic copy. It costs only $50. And I'm going to put a link to it in the description. So make sure you check that out. That out. I hope you find this video helpful. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you in the very next video. Bye.